Hey everybody, this is Analytical Survival and this is a continuation on my homeschooling series. Today we're going to talk about Africa and not only the physical layout of all the countries themselves, but also the names of each country as well using flashcards. So we'll be employing both a physical map with this jigsaw puzzle here as well as some flashcards. Okay, let's get right into it. First we'll start with the flashcards and then move right into the jigsaw puzzle itself. And afterwards I'll answer some questions that some some have asked me about specific techniques that I use for homeschooling. Okay, let's get into it. Mali, Chad, Eritrea, Angola, Libya, That's Sudan, not Libya. Liberia, Sierra Leone, Tunisia, Kenya, Morocco, what's next, Rwanda, Sudan, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Burundi, Wait a minute, what's that? Swaziland. Good. South Sudan. Kinokatao. Benin. Senegal. South Africa. Zimbabwe. Western Sahara. The Gambia. Egypt. Burkina Faso. Central African Republic. Zambia. Uganda. Cote d'Ivoire. Equatorial Guinea. Algeria. Gabon. Libya. Cameroon. Democratic Republic of the Congo, Togo, Guinea, Somalia, Ghana, Namibia, Congo, Nigeria, Tanzania, Madagascar, Malawi. Malawi. Wait a minute, go back. Malawi. Good job. Nigeria. Good job. Botswana, Mozambique. Mm hmm. It's that's Botswana. Excuse me. Mozambique. Mauritania. Let's do two. All right. <laughs> now, here's the physical map itself. Where's Morocco? There he is. And what's in Sahara? And where's Mauritania? It's orange. Mauritania. Mali. Nigeria. Keep going. You're doing great. It's Tunisia. There's Tunisia. And there's um, Libya. Mm -hmm. You're doing fantastic. Keep going. And Chad. What's on the other side? Hey, there he is. Right there. Chad. Yeah. Chad. Mm -hmm. All stuck together, huh? They're stuck. Mm -hmm. They're stuck. Congo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's start with um, Sudan and South Sudan. They're stuck together. Yes, good job. You figured that one out. And Nigeria. Where's Nigeria? It's on the other side. It's Nigeria over there. We get out of this. Now let's do that one. What's that Senegal one? Senegal and the Gambia, they're stuck together. Mm -hmm. There's Guinea-Bissau and Guinea. Mm -hmm. There's Guinea and Guinea-Bissau, they're stuck together. Good job. And Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. And uh, where's is Liberia? Liberia. Oh, it's Liberia. And Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire. And Burkina Faso. Oh my gosh, you're doing great. Ghana and Togo, they're stuck together. Uh-huh, keep going. You're doing fantastic. Mm hmm Look, this one and Togo, they're stuck. You're doing fantastic. We did all this. Mm -hmm. Now let's do the central states. Let's do the central countries. Let's, let's try it. Okay. Kenya. That's yes. Kenya. Mm hmm And Uganda. Uganda. And that's the Republic of the Congo. Uh-huh. You're doing awesome. Keep going. It's Congo. Mm hmm Uganda. Mm hmm Okay, be careful. Congo. Now, what's stuck in there? Keep going. What's stuck in there? There's Gabon and Equatorial Guinea. Yes, yes, you're doing fantastic. South Africa. South Africa's down there. And Somalia. Somalia goes right there. It's Botswana. Botswana's right there. And where's Namibia? There. 
Namibia. Namibia. You're doing fantastic, son. This is Cameroon. Cameroon is up there. And this is Central, Central African Republic. Okay, you and did all the Central. This is, and this is Mozambique. Most, this is in Palau. Okay. It goes, in goes inside there. It's Madagascar. Mm -hmm. And Tanzania. And Burundi and Rwanda, they're stuck. They're stuck together. And yeah. Zimbabwe. No, that's uh, not Zimbabwe. That's what? Zambia. Zambia. Good job. Uh -oh. Mm-hmm. And Zimbabwe. There's Zimbabwe. Angola. Oh, my God. You did the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. All right, son, you did awesome. Now, a good number of you have asked me through personal messages about how I make my flashcards. First off, if you can buy a set of flashcards and they meet your needs for whatever purpose, then by all means buy them. However, if you need or just want to custom make your own as I do, then the answer is simple. All you need is a computer, cardstock, and a laminator. That's it. So let me show you how it's done. Let's take a look over here on my computer. This is how I arrange my flashcards, all on one file. I use Microsoft PowerPoint to do this, and I simply just draw out a box shape, and within that box shape, I simply edit each one, typing a different country into each one as I go. And I can usually fit eight of these boxes onto one sheet. Now, all you have to do is print them out, making sure you've double-checked the spelling of each country. Then after that, you're ready for lamination. Personally, I use a Scotch Pro Thermal Laminator, model TL906, and it has worked flawlessly for years, and I've done hundreds and hundreds of flashcards with this very unit. Once it's heated up, place a sheet of paper into a sleeve, as you see here, and here are the sleeves themselves. Then, simply feed it in through the top of the laminator. And there you go. You're all done. Just let it cool and then cut the individual cards out. Now, these cards are very, very sturdy, and they're going to last you for years and years as they have for me. Okay, that's it for that. Let me now summarize the entire learning process of how we learn the African countries. First, we memorize the names of each country using flashcards, working only with a few countries at a time, and for us, that was about 10 countries per week. And remember, make sure to always stress the phonetic breakdown of each word. Like I said earlier, that will later pay off big dividends. Next, I make time almost every week to test my son's knowledge on an actual jigsaw puzzle. Again, we started off with only a few countries at first, adding a few more as we went until we finally completed the entire puzzle. All right, that concludes this tutorial. I'll see you all in the next video, and I'm going to let my students sign us off. Okay, that's it for now. This is Analytical Survival of Saints. Stay safe, my brothers and sisters. Spell me a word, you're a spelling man. Spell me a word today. Cause we're all in the mood for a spelling word. And you got me spelling today.